Jesse Leach. Hi guys, my name's Adam. We're from the band Kill Switch Engage. Uh, Mike D, our bass player, actually came up with the original title, which was Disarming the Descent. Uh, through some discussion, we decided to shave off that ING. Shaving. Shave it. Shave it. Keep it uh, clean. And it's called Disarm the Descent now, obviously. Uh, basically, it's just a clever way of saying redemption or rising again. Uh, writing this record uh, is so much, I mean, it's worlds apart from where we were 10 years ago, especially myself. Um, it's a lot easier this time around because I'm fairly confident in who I am. And, You're not uh, crying. And I'm not, <laughs> I'm not crying. Uh, who I am as a writer and as a person. And Adam and I have a pretty good relationship uh, as far as uh, recording from, you know, Times of Grace till now. Uh, so yeah, it's, it's a lot different. It was fairly easy, uh, like a natural progression for us to to work on this record for sure. Ah, well, uh, no, making this record was a piece of cake. Uh, this guy actually had his uh, had his shit together, um, prepared. Thank you. Yeah, you know, prepared uh, just a little more, um, I don't know, like you know how to take care of your throat, uh, inspired, ready to go. Kid's been off the road forever, uh, hasn't been playing music for a long, you know, a long time. I've been playing music for a long time. Well, you've been just working. off the road. Well, yeah, that's what I mean. You've been kind yeah. of a hidden, a working man. Yeah, yeah. exactly. Hidden I'll take away it. from view and <laughs> in the in the shadows. You finally <laughs> were able to become artistic again, and I, I blossomed like a precious little flower. So much water, <laughs> water and sunshine, man. Plant you with Miracle Grow. <laughs> Look at you, beautiful flower. So yeah, it was a, a piece of cake, and um, yeah. T Times of Grace, I mean, no, it had nothing to do with it. We weren't even thinking about me being in the band or anything at that point. Uh, I think if, if nothing else, it just warmed us up for, uh, you know, warmed me up for touring again. and Just the tip. Yeah, <laughs> for, and for working with Adam again. But, uh, you know, definitely not. It didn't, one thing did not lead to the other, for sure. Oh, making this record, piece of cake. Uh, it was... You know, five dudes that have not made a record in a while wanting to make a record. So everyone just came in with uh, a little bit of, you know, fiery attitude, just ready to throw down, ready to get some sick freaking tracks down. And uh, no, it was just really inspired, really excited. And uh, yeah, here we are. Yeah, and from hearing the music, I mean, the music was done uh, before I even entered the picture. And they gave me the, the demos with the music and it just blew me away. The energy, the, the speed of it, the intensity. So I basically wrote what I felt would fit with the music and it just happened to like make this record a little more intense. Um, you know, producing my own band, producing these idiots, uh, it's, it's fun because I'm hanging out with my friends but uh, also friends that trust me with all of their bullshit, which is kind of cool. Um, no, I, I love making music, and I love uh, the fact that these guys feel comfortable enough to trust me to put all the things together and you know make the record. And it's just great. I, mean, I, I respect all of them; they respect me. So we uh, just try to do the best we can, make the best products, and make some sweet tunes that hopefully our fans like. Yeah, there's a reason why this record sounds the way it does. It has a lot to do with uh, this guy in the captain's oh, chair. Quiet. It's true. True quiet. story. Quiet. We wouldn't have had it any other way. No, uh, producing my own band is um, its not really any, any more difficult than working with another band. It's just, it's just not having an ego. Uh, knowing what's right for the, the part not giving a crap if my ideas get squashed or if my ideas need to be really quiet or if my ideas need to be really loud. It's just knowing what's right for the situation, knowing what's right for the song, and that's pretty much it. <laughs>